Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got the full team of the year. We've got honorable mentions and now all the team of the year icons and packs, and we've come to a conclusion. Team of the years are basically impossible to pack. Now, I know some of you guys that have packed them are like, no, Nate, it is possible. You can get them, but it's hard this year, and it's also just the pack weight is weird, right? Some days it seems better than others, and the beginning of team of the year, it seemed really good. Now it seems to be not so good. I want to talk about that today, and of course, with the upgrade packs expiring that we have been doing for a lot of these last couple of days, specifically the 75 plus and the 81 plus double, are these just going to come back today or will EA drop some other upgrade packs out that maybe are better or maybe worse? We'll talk about that because it is an upgrade pack Monday. And also speaking of upgrade packs, yesterday's 88 plus, uh, again, the mid World Cup and prime icon SBC, the, basically the same one that they released last week. They released it again, but this time you can do it three times. I've already done it three times in yesterday's time span because we're crafting and opening a lot of packs because we're still trying to pack these almost impossible to attain blues. But I'm talking about how that affected the market because prices reacted a lot of like we thought they would. Fodder going up, some of the rest of the market dropping a bit. What's going to happen today? We're going to cover it. If you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. Let's talk about these team leaders a little bit. I just want to have a conversation because... I feel like a lot of us just feel this way and we felt this way since like Thursday or Friday. It's hard to pack a team of the year this year. And let's be honest, in general, it should be difficult because these are some of the best cards, especially this earlier on in the year. We're used to seeing stats like this at like team of the season, right? That's still like four or five months away. But here in January, team of the year, this is always a promo where everybody full sends, but they full send because these cards are usually hard to pack and they're ones that you really want to spend a lot of your effort to getting because they're worth it. But this year, the pack weight just seems weird. It almost seems like sus at some level because Team of the Year Messi right now is 5.2 million coins and 7 million on the PC. This guy was his cheapest day two. He was three, day one even. He was 3.8, 3.7 million coins at his absolute lowest day one, day two when the attackers were first in packs all by themselves. And of course, common sense would tell us there's no way he's going to be his cheapest then, right? Because there's going to be more pack supply coming when the full team is out and when everybody opens their packs for the full team of the year, right? Well, that literally didn't happen for any of these cards. Most of these cards, except for some of the defenders, were their cheapest the first time they were put into packs, right? Like Jude, I think some of these guys did end up hitting their absolute lowest points on like Thursday, right? But we were expecting a lot bigger drops and a lot lower prices on a few of these cards. And the pack weight is, I think, the biggest reason why these cards are as expensive as they are, right? I mean, even on the lightning rounds, all the lightning rounds that we saw on Thursday and on Friday and even over the weekend, Saturday, yesterday, on Sunday... These guys are just like really hard to pack this year, which makes sense again in a, a clear point because they're team of the years and they're incredibly high rated. But also, I think last year spoiled us a little bit. I really think that it did because last year, I mean, it wasn't easy to pack team of the years, but I mean, I know guys last year that packed 12, 14 team of the year cards, a lot of duplicates with Donnarumma, Hakimi, and Jorginho, stuff like that, right? But still, this year, that's like almost unheard of. And these guys, if you hit one, like you win, you know, like it's really, really hard to pack just one team of the year across the whole scheme of the game. So yeah, it, you know, you could kind of place the blame on EA Sports and say, man, EA, this, this pack weight maybe is a little bit dynamic. Um, and it's just weird, right? Also, we have to remember this is the first year of a new market with the Xbox and the PC, I'm sorry, Xbox and the PlayStations together on one market. So that changes things as well. So it's really a learning experience, but it's just so weird, right? Because last year with what we expected and what we saw this year, it's been a completely different story, especially with a lot of the cheapest prices for like the, the Messi and the Mbappe were day one, which is really not what you ever expect. But regardless of the fact these guys are very difficult to pack, we are still chasing them down. I know a lot of you guys maybe feel like it's over for you because you've opened all your saved up packs and now you're like, Nate, I don't know what to do. I feel like a lot of people are in that spot and they're just sharing the sentiment like, man, team of the year is... I, I had my shot, I opened my saved up packs, and well, now we're here. Well, there's still upgrade packs out, but if you've kind of distinguished or you've extinguished all of your coins, and now you're like, all right, I'm done, you know, I, I understand where you're at right now. At least EA has given us some opportunities to still go get some packs to replenish our club through objectives. And we got to give kudos to where kudos is due because team of the year draft, 
the Century of Winds, the um, the Team of the Year Cup, all of these modes, kind of like, again, it's like Winter Wild Cards, right? They gave us plenty of objectives via game modes to get packs, and GG's to EA for that. So if you're kind of like down bad and your club is absolutely in the mud, if you haven't started on this stuff yet, or if you haven't uh, played a lot of these games or worked on these objectives, definitely go out and do some of that because that will help, right? Get your club back off the ground because... Like we said in yesterday's video, we have some pack code and we may even have something coming really soon with future stars. And that's not a promo that you really want to sleep on as well because that's going to be a really, really high promo for this for this game, especially because it's going to include a swaps program, which we'll talk about a little bit more in this video too. But I just want to talk about Team of the Year pack weight because, I mean, besides Erling Holland, a lot of these guys are just up, up and away. And I think what really happened with this Holland Team of the Year card and what's going on right now is honestly just like a price kind of reset because he was way too expensive to begin with. Now, he's 3.9 million coins. He's going to reach a low point today, either early Monday. At some time today, he's going to reach a low point in the panic selling because a lot of people have been trying out this card. He's down almost a mil from where he was, but he's also super rare, so you have to kind of keep that in mind. Uh, but he's down a lot. People have been selling him off, and I believe that this is probably more of a um, accurate price for him in the three mil range. He could keep falling further, but he's going to reach a low point and he is, he's going to bounce back because he's the 12th man. He's going to be a bit more expensive than he probably should be as well, just because of the 12th man and a bit more rare. So just kind of keep that in mind. Watch that Holland price today. If that's something you're very interested in, because I think that'd be a card might be able to pick up today for a low price and see him rise back up throughout this week um, as we expect the market to probably rise up a good amount throughout the rest of this week as well. Now, let's talk about Monday content. Let's go straight to the point. Today's content on Monday, as we said in the intro, we have got two upgrade SBCs that are expiring, the 75-plus player pick and the 81-plus double upgrade. And we knew this, right? We knew this when they first dropped the SBCs last Monday that the league upgrades were still going to be here, right? These are not going away. Don't worry if you're premier, your premium league one, premium La Liga, which these seem to be the problem with the pack weight anyways. These are horrendous. I haven't, I mean, they're just bad. I don't know what it is, but that's just pack weight in general, as we talked about. Uh, these are going away today. I really hope that EA Sports literally hit the refresh button and put these guys uh, back in the game until Friday because these would be great SBCs to craft. And even if you're kind of done trying to open packs for team of the year, if you want to set your sights on future stars, these would be great player picks and packs to save for that. But I do believe these will get replaced with something today. I don't think EA would just let us have um, the premium league specific and the regular league specific upgrades. I think they would give us something else, but we'll just have to see. Um, of course, I'm going to be doing a lot more upgrade packs throughout the week this week. I just ended up putting some more coins. I was down to about 45 packs and now i'm back up to about 91 uh, i opened a lot of my big packs yesterday with the team of the year icons being out 83 times 10s have been absolutely abysmal i opened my centurions 100 it was bad 83 25 it was bad so that's kind of where this kind of bad pack luck kind of stuff is coming from and we were talking about it in the stream i know some of you guys like we said have hit big pulls but it's just weird right and that's why i wanted to bring it to you guys today on the video once again but let's talk more monday content we do have an 85 times 3 defender sbc that's going to refresh today of course we had the 85 times 3 attacker sbc yesterday which is definitely a bit overpriced but i've seen people pack really big cards including team of the years from that sbc so don't just skip over it right away if you're crafting upgrades this week and you have fodder that's a good sbc to do this one's coming back today and again guys player sbcs right now you already saw i completed the bore sbc right that was one that we had yesterday that was a bit of a surprise there was no leak for this sbc even and we're still wondering where's the richarlison where's the flashback Jorginho? well last week we had flashback cards on Friday and Tuesday with the Ramos and then the Pogba. Uh, and then we had, of course, Friday again this week or a couple days ago with Mane. So maybe Jorginho is Tuesday this week. Maybe it's today on Monday. Who really knows? Um, maybe the Richarlison. It's the only other leaked SBC that we have at the moment. The Richarlison that we was probably thinking was going to drop yesterday, but it didn't. That's the only other player SBC that could maybe come today. But last Monday, we didn't get a player. So maybe we won't this week as well. But yesterday, the big SBC that everybody was doing and that affected the market was, well, these two. But the 88 plus mid prime or World Cup icon upgrade, you can do it three times. And it's still an 83, 85 and 86 squad, which, which is actually very craftable. But you saw a lot of the fodder market, as we expected, move like crazy. If you bought fodder yesterday, you are loving life. The, remember, these 85s are down here at 10,000 coins. They spiked all the way to 14K, where they still are. 86s, though, I think 86s had the highest return on investment because you were able to get these guys at about 14K, I believe. 
yeah, 14, 15,000 coins, right? But they went over 20,000 coins, some of them getting into SBC solutions and selling for even like 24, 25, 26,000 coins for some 86s yesterday at some points within that first hour of when the SBC was released. And those spikes were so big, all because this SBC you could do three times at once. My only slight complaint about this is that we wish we could maybe do it repeatable like as many times as we wanted or maybe like we could do it like twice a day or something like that for those of us that are still opening upgrade packs. Like I said, I already did all three of them in the first day, which is crazy, but it's just because we're opening so many upgrade packs and getting all that fodder. So if you still have fodder, you don't have to um, necessarily sell it right now. I think today the market's going to rise on the fodder side of things. People get their rewards, they'll go out. Um, and even though they'll pack some of these cards, there'll be more demand to do SBCs than supply of these cards on the market coming in from weekend league rewards getting paid out. So I would expect to see most of the fodder market actually go up today. None of it looks super duper low enough for me to really go in and invest in. In my opinion, maybe the 83s, if you think they're going to go back above a thousand coins, which they could because that 85 times three defender pack is refreshing today and we still have some of those other sbcs with lower tier squads in them uh i mean including the uh, icon pack has an 83 squad in it so maybe if you can get some 83s at like i don't know 900 950 coins they could go back up to about 1.2 1.3 maybe at some point because they did spike yesterday as you can see here uh, but we'll just have to see it depends on what content that ea drop but for the rest of the fodder it's always a good time in general to sell fodder when you have a big sbc release like yesterday when you were getting those crazy high sales on 86s like that's fine 87 some of them are selling at like 30,000 coins in the peak um, of the rise like 32k for fabinho right like that is a really insane sell price like go for that because a lot of those spikes you see in the first hour when a big SBC like an icon pack is dropped that's an optimal time to sell fodder now the reason that you could hold and wait is okay maybe Fabinho can get back to 32k or maybe even a little bit above that later on this week if EA continue to release SBCs like player SBCs if they were to release another like a hero pack or something like that because there's not, there's not as much supply, right? Think about it. All of the supply is kind of ended. It was all on the weekend, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, people opening save packs, especially yesterday was like the last day that maybe save packs are being held. That's all done now, right? And a lot of your lightning rounds are going to be done as well. EA will probably still run lightning rounds this week, which will keep fodder in check a little bit, but there's still going to be demand there for people that are doing upgrade packs that have SBCs, halfway done because a lot of the problem during team of the year as well is people do upgrade packs look at my sbcs right now i'm two out of four in mane one out of six on jabi alonso i've started um hugo sanchez and two out of seven on him now i know that i'm doing a lot more upgrade packs but others may have started this like oh crap i'm you know one or two segments away from completing this sbc well i gotta go out and buy the cards to do it now because i don't have the SBC fodder or not, I'm not opening any more packs. So there's still going to be demand because there's so many SBCs that are out. I think that you can hold on to some fodder. Like if you have the 90s and 91s, some of these guys actually went down yesterday because I think people were hoping that these cards would end up being required more for like an icon pack. But these guys ended up going down because I believe people saw the requirements and they're like, okay, there's no like big time squad in here. And they sold some of these because there's no like 88 squad requirement or anything like that. But, you know, if you still have these, if you didn't sell like 76,000 coins, I still think you're going to be okay. Because if I'm being honest, a lot of the people that were selling these were investors. They were selling these cards to go and afford fodder or to go and maybe take the money on their investment um, to go do the SBC or they were just be scared and panic selling because the SBC didn't require what they thought it was going to because like this De Bruyne's not in packs. This drop off is purely from investors selling. There's no supply on the market right now as it is. So that's kind of why those cards are dropping. But if you have those, I'd probably still hold. They could easily go back up to 75, 76K like they were um, unless you sold already. You know, I think those cards can go back up. And that's how I feel like a lot of the market is going to be reacting this week as well, including the team of the years, because they just seem to be so like unpackable. The fact that Benzema is 2.5 million coins. I mean, guys, it does seem a little bit expensive, but also in one sense, it makes sense a little bit too, because yeah, these guys are really, really elite. They're really hype. And if they are going to be this rare, 
they are going to maintain a pretty expensive price because a lot of people will want to get them just because they're insane and because they're team of the years. And that's a GG to EA for, um, you know, knowing their game well and making this work out well. I mean, EA, they do this right all the time and they're doing it right here again because these guys are expensive. And if people go out and buy these for their teams, like, you know, if you want to go and buy Benzema, I'm not going to tell you not to buy a team of the year and have fun with it. All I'm saying is I don't think that these guys can maintain these prices for months to come i do believe that a guy like this benzema you talk about after the future stars promo where some pretty cool cards are going to be dropped i know it's like nate why would i sell a benzema for a future stars card that's like 92 rated well remember that ansu fati from a couple years back in future stars or some of the other really expensive future stars we've had they have affected team of the year prices because they're no longer the newest and most hype cards when these other promos keep coming afterwards so just be careful with these uh if you want to use them for your team by all means go for it. I'm not telling you to not buy because I feel like a lot of people were looking for the lowest point and it seems to have passed. But these cards could continue to rise up during the week. I really believe this week of content is going to be slow and I think that's going to help the market continue to rise up. If there are prices out there right now that you are looking at that you see, whether it's an out of packs card, whether it's an in packs card um, that you think is pretty low and you think could go back up, I mean, take an eye, like, like look around the market and find some good prices because uh, I believe that yesterday created an opportunity to buy some cards because we had that icon pack, right? We had that kind of coin drain SBC that caused some people to sell cards. Like this team of the tournament, Foden, yesterday, I was looking just at his graph a minute ago. He was, um, even though we have Sokka in the game, he was 320,000 coins yesterday. It looks like he's almost back to it, but he was just, you know, an hour or two ago down to like 290,000 coins. So if you're looking to make coins on the market today, I still do believe we're going to have ourselves a solid Monday morning market rise. And if content today is just refreshed upgrade packs, nothing crazy at all, I believe that prices would probably keep going up on stuff that is meta, that is popular, and that is rare, right? Those are our three qualifications always for cards to continue to go up. To go up. So, you know, your winter wild cards, items um, that have been really, really inflated in price, they could go up a little bit further. Um, now, be careful with a guy like Robertson, right? Because he's down, and he's down because of the Cancelo that's in the team of the year honorable mentions. But like this but this Ben Yedder card, I know that people are completing a Bappe player of the month, but Ben Yedder has been dropping off all day. He was like 380, 390 all the way down to like 360, th actually 350 where he is right now. So this would maybe be a card like if I could get a snipe at like 345 or something, I would be halfway interested to try to trade with this today because he's a rare card. He could very easily go back up to 380K. You can see he is definitely a very rare card. Might have missed the opportunity to buy here. Maybe I can catch some bids that were listed beforehand. But you know, that sort of thing, I think the content that we got yesterday and we talked about this in yesterday's video as well it created an opportunity to buy some out of packs cards and maybe even some of the team their honorable mentions um from the promo team because of the content that was released now speaking of some of the honorable mentions a lot of these guys dropped off just a little bit yesterday like you know five five percent i wouldn't even say ten percent drop offs on a lot of these cards like kula bali was around four hundred thirty thousand coins and you know now he's in like the 420k range so these guys the honorable mentions they seem to have a decent amount of supply on the market but i'm not packing them so i don't know who's packing them but uh, besides like Bremer, Bremer is the only card that I've packed thus far, and we're going to continue to try throughout this week to get more and more, but that's what's disappointing for me at the moment is just trying to pack some more blues, either it's honorable mentions or the real blues, preferably the real blues, but you know, these guys did drop off a bit yesterday. Uh, I did pick up a cane at 290. I think that was a bit cheap. I mean, this guy was 340 for most of the day yesterday. I picked up a Kula Bali in the low 400s, thought that was pretty good. Um, because these guys did get packed yesterday as people open up their safe packs, but also at the same time, uh, they're in pretty high demand. Alfonso Davies yesterday, right at the content drop, went down to like 270. He's back up a little bit. And then kind of the same thing happened with the Team of the Year icons, but also like not really. Team of the Year icons are a slight bit different because they're just a lot harder to pack in general. Some of those, some of their prices were like non, not affected at all. Like Dino was still 11 mil. David Beckham is still 3.2 mil. Gerd Muller is still about 1.5. You know, some of these guys dropped off a little bit yesterday. There really wasn't a lot of panic selling. You can see Gerd was like 1.65, went down to 1.4, 1.54, kind of between 1.5 in the middle and then 1.6. Other cards like Vandersar, who is 800K, yeah, he's now down to like 700,000 coins flat. You can see, right? 854, he went all the way to 660. And now he's kind of coming back up. These guys are going to maintain their rarity, but they're still in packs for the rest of this week, which means there'll be a little bit of supply here and there. You'll see them popping up on the market. 
and uh, it doesn't mean their prices are done dropping or rising yet. It's just kind of, you know, treat it as like a normal promo team. Uh, their cards are in packs, so they could get supplied on any day where EA drops some SBCs that bring supply to the market. So that's kind of what's going on with the market right now. Um, you know, the, the Mbappe situation is if you have a gold Mbappe, do I expect gold Mbappe to like maintain his price of 800,000 coins for like weeks to come? I, I doubt it because A, people are doing the player of the month uh, just because they have a lot of fodder and B, it's a gold card, right? And, and Mbappe gold will be back in packs at the end of this week. And of course, we know what happens to the market, especially during the month of February and into March. There's always a big market crash like late February and in March. People think about full birthday and usually the post team of the year market rise kind of like kind of reached the tipping point then as EA is releasing these SBCs. And there's something to panic about always during that time of the year. So we're not there yet by any means. But, you know, I, I don't expect all prices right now in this game to continue going up for the rest of the year. It's definitely kind of more of a short term window where I feel like the market is we've had a really nice bounce back, right? People that have not been able to afford team of the year cards are going back out onto the market and buying other promo cards. Like you look at the Centurions, Centurion Salah 1.15, right? Yeah, this guy was 800K in packs. Verratti still 600,000 coins. Trent uh, is 312, right? Neymar was 1.8, he's 2.3. You know, Kempembe is finally rising up. Jordi Alba is 132,000 coins. You look at the Winter Wild Cards promo team, right? You've got Kimmich with the Lynx is definitely up. Varane is up. Benzema, St. Max. A lot of these guys just keep rising. And that'll probably take place for a little while, but it's not going to last forever. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's safe to hold teams this week for sure, um, unless EA drop a madness. But that's kind of where we're at with the market in my opinion, at this time. It's a really good market to trade in, though, if you find those fluctuations, because a lot of people are not scared to buy, and a lot of people have coins. So there's that. Last thing I want to talk about today is uh, future stars, because last year at this exact time, we actually had the future stars promo starting during team of the year, literally last year, right? And I mean, I remember looking at this last year, getting and trying to attain swap tokens while Team of the Year is out. Like we had Team of the Year Challenge SBCs that gave out Future Star swap tokens. Uh, and again, these are the rewards from last year. And the reason why we're talking about this is because the card design has been officially added to the code. Here it is, Future Star swaps token. Uh, it's not, I don't see it in the game searchable yet, but it's probably going to be in pretty soon if we are actually going to get swaps pretty soon. So watch out for that. And the other thing I wanted to mention is we had our first reward for the swaps program that was leaked yesterday. And when we started getting rewards leaks, that means we're not very far off at all. Now, we didn't see that pack in the store that I thought we were going to see that contains the swaps token. But maybe as soon as, as early as today or Monday, this could be something that EA try to swing the team of their hype in their favor towards the next promo with a future star swap starting early. And this leak for a Coutinho future star swap reward, this has just got us kind of confused. It's lovely that we're going to potentially get a nice Coutinho card via uh the rewards for the swaps program but it's also like a head scratcher because this future stars promo is all based around u23 players right that's li literally what future stars is and coutinho does definitely definitely does not fit that bill but he was once i guess a, a wonder kid if you will so maybe that's where they're getting this but nonetheless, some version of Coutinho, whether it's a moments card, whether it's a future stars, whether it's a flashback, is going to be one of the rewards in the swaps program. So watch out for maybe some more leaks today about future star swaps. That could bring some excitement to objectives, to grinding the gameplay modes or whatever it, must, whatever it needs to be to get the swap tokens. That could bring some hype to the game this week as well. Again, I don't know when that's going to drop, but it just seems like it will be pretty soon uh, because we have those leaks starting and we have those card designs added and like i said we didn't see that store pack added um but it was in the code right that uh the new year's star pack or, or whatever it was the new year cheer pack went away yesterday we had the essentials pack and of course a lot of lightning rounds but nothing super crazy in terms of the store packs yesterday at least from a perspective of the swap tokens are for future stars so that's kind of what's going on right now i'm going to be continuing to rip packs this week trying my best to get blues i don't even have the team of the year counter up right now because we're at zero and i want to get this to one and two three hopefully multiples on there so that it makes our grind worth it but that's what we're going to be doing on stream this week so if you want to check us out link down below is in the description but that's going to be the monday video for today guys if you did enjoy it smash the thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate foot account i'll catch you guys later peace out.